Hello students. Today we are going to discuss briefly about principle of dynamics. Basically here we discuss about the kinetics of the dynamics. So in the last video we discussed what is kinetics. So in kinetics we concerned with the motion of the body as well as the force which is responsible for the motion of the body. But in the previous video, we, there we discuss about the kinematics. So in kinematics, where we discuss only about the motion of the body. But here in today's video, we discuss about the motion of the body as well as the force which is responsible for the motion of the body. So as we discuss about the motion of the body, it means here also we are using the same equations of motion which we discussed in the last video. And also we discuss about the force which is responsible for the motion of the body. That force may be the weight of the body. That force may be the frictional force. That force may be the reactive force. Any kind of force which is responsible for the motion of the body that we are going to discuss here. So before that, we discuss about Newton's laws of motion and we know that there are three Newton's laws of motion. The first law, second law and the third law. So the first law states that every body continues in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless it is acted upon by some external force. And this law is also known as the inertia law. Second law of Newton states that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the same direction in which the force acts. So according to the second law, so the expression of equation of motion of a particle is summation of F must be equal to M into A. So remember this is the important expression of this equation of motion of a particle that is summation of in terms of force that is summation of F equal to MN. If you remember in statics there we use the expression summation of F equal to 0. So if it is in along x direction, we consider summation of fx equal to 0. If it is along y direction, summation of fy equal to 0. But now here, we consider summation of f equal to ma. So if you understood how you have to use summation of fx equal to 0 and summation of fy equal to 0 in statics, here you can easily understood the summation of f equal to ma. So if the motion of the body is along x direction so the expression we represent summation of fx equal to ma if the motion is along y direction so that is summation of fy equal to ma if we find out there is motion is along x direction but there is no motion along y direction so in that case the expression we have to use summation of fx equal to ma and for y direction, summation of f y equal to 0. So, 0 means in that particular direction, there is no motion. So, m is equal to w by g. So, this expression you have to remember while you solve the numerical. So, the third law, this is very simple. To every action, there is always equal and opposite reactions. Let us discuss some of the examples. So, here you see. One example we consider that is an elevator of gross weight W equal to 4450 Newton starts to move upward with constant acceleration and acquires a velocity V equal to 18 meter per second after traveling distance 1.8 meter. Find the tensile force in the cable during this accelerated motion. Neglect friction. So, here the question is mentioned about an elevator. So, elevator means the lift. So, 
see we draw one diagram here so let us consider this is the elevator which is initially present here having if we draw the free boundary diagram of this elevator we consider this is the weight of the elevator weight is always represented in vertical and downward direction and this elevator is hanging or connected by means of a cable so during so in the cable which force is exerted that is the tensile force so here we assume tensile force to be t so remember here we use the tensile force to be t so this is one force and this is another force so two force here we consider one is tensile force and another is weight of the elevator or the lift so see this according to this question this elevator is moving in upward direction so moving with upward direction with constant acceleration let that acceleration to be a so initially the velocity of the lift or elevator is z, u equal to 0 now as it covers the distance 1.8 meter so distance is represented here as s equal to 1.8 meter so as this elevator covers 1.8 meter distance by acquiring the velocity as in given in the question that is 18 meter per second so final velocity is 18 meter per second initial velocity is u equal to 0 so what we have to find out here we have to find out the tensile force t so if we consider the forces t and w now tell me in which direction this forces are acting that is along y direction right if this is along y direction so here we consider the summation of force fy is equal to ma but there is no such forces along x direction or there is no movement of the body along x direction right that's why here we consider summation of fy equal to ma so see this body is moving in upward direction so as this is moving in upward direction so here we have to assume this tensile force t should be greater than w so as t is greater than w so as it is summation so t plus w but this w is acting in opposite direction of the t that's why we put a minus sign here so t plus of minus w equal to ma so t minus w equal to ma so we rearrange this this equal to t equal to w plus ma so in place of m we substitute w by g so w plus w by g into a so here in the question we have given that the value of w equal to 4450 we know the value of g that is 9.81 so we have to find out the value of a so if we get the value of a we can get the value of t so to get the value of a we use the equation of motion so which equation of motion we are going to use so see we have three types of equation of motion sorry four types of equation of motion where in three expressions we have the time value or time expression so in one equation there is no uh, um, that is the representation of time so that is v square minus u square equal to 2 as so we use this expression here the value of u we assume to be 0 so 0 s is given in the question that is 1.8 meter so 1.8 meters just by substituting all the value we get the a equal to 90 meter per second square and t by substituting the value of a in equation in this equation we get the value of t to be 45275.69 newton so this is the value of tensile force so next question we are going to discuss here next example so here we consider a body of mass 200 kg is initially stationary on a 15 degree inclined plane what distance along the incline must the body slide before it reaches a speed of 10 meter per second take coefficient of friction between the body and the plane as 0.1 so initially the body of mass 200 kg is placed here this is sliding down and covers a distance of s with acceleration a so this body is moving in downward direction with acceleration a so this we assume so mass m equal to 200 kg 
so if mass is 200 kg weight is 200 into 9.81 is 1962 newton angle of inclination is given 15 degree that is alpha v the final velocity initially it is here so as it reaches this point with the velocity 10 meter per second so initially the velocity is 0 u equal to 0 the coefficient of friction is given that is 0 0.1 so we have to find out the magnitude of the distance covered by this 200 kg mass from this point to this point so let us draw the free body diagram so here we consider this is the body so as this is the body the weight is vertically downward so this is the contact surface from contact surface the reaction is there so as this is moving in downward direction the frictional force is exerted that is in upward direction so now we resolve this weight with respect to this angle that is 15 degree so this is w cos 15 degree and this is w sin 15 degree so according to this diagram we have to write down the force equation so that is this body is moving in this particular direction in this direction so this we consider to be the x direction if this is x direction so we consider summation of fx equal to ma and this is the y direction so there is no such movement of this body along this particular direction so we use the expression summation of fy equal to zero because there is no acceleration in this particular direction so according to the summation of fy equal to zero here we consider rn is equal to w cos 40 sorry w cos 15 degree so rn equal to w cos 15 degree in place of w we substitute mg m value is 200 or we already calculate the value of w that is 1962 substitute here cos 15 degree and this is the value of rn now we consider summation of fx equal to ma so fx this is the direction so here the body is sliding in downward direction so we assume this w sin 15 degree is greater than f so w sin 15 degree minus f equal to ma so w sin 15 degree w value of w is considered to be 1962 newton sin 15 degree f is mu rn equal to ma so the value of mu is given 0.1 rn already we calculate this value equal to m is given 200 into a so by solving this we get the value of a so next we have to consider the equation of motion to get the value of s so v square minus u square equal to 2 a s so 10 square minus 0 square equal to 2 a value is into 1.59 into s solving this s equal to 31.45 meter next question a weight w equal to 4450 kg is supported in a vertical plane by a string and pulleys arranged as shown in figure if the free end of the string is pulled vertically downward with constant acceleration a equal to 18 meter per second square find the tension in the string neglect friction in the pulley so this is the diagram it is given here so according to this question the weight of the body that is attached to this pulley is given 4450 kg acceleration with which it is moving that is 18 meter per second square so see here we assume this weight this end of the string is pulled in downward direction so as it is pulled it reaches to new point that is a dash moving with acceleration a so as this is moving with acceleration a this pulley is moving with acceleration a by 2 right so this already we discuss in virtual work this kind of numerical we already solve in the new that is virtual work in virtual work we consider this end is displaced by y value so this body is moving with y by 2 distance similarly here it is moving with acceleration a so it is moving with acceleration a by 2 so remember when we write down the equation summation of f equal to ma for this body in place of a we use a by 2 so see here we consider the free body diagram of this pulley so this is the pulley here two threads are there both the ends so if you cut this thread from a point so here we consider this will falls down it means 
some force is exerted within this string in upward direction which holds this pulley and this weight in this particular position so that is tensile force it is represented here and weight is that is vertically downward direction so summation of f equal to m into a by 2 so a by 2 for this pulley so see summation of f so tot total forces so 2t minus w w is acting in downward direction 2t minus w equal to in place of m we substitute w by g and this is a by 2 so here in this question we are going to find out tension so 2t equal to w plus w by g into a by 2 w value is given g value is uh, that is uh, already known to us that is 9.81 a is given 18 so 18 by 2 so by solving this we get t equal to 4266.28 newton thank you